Good morning, everyone, boys and girls, and everybody else tuning in. Welcome to our children's talk before the main service today. Now, if you look what's in front of me, you'll find there are lots of fishy things here in front of me today. We've got a packet of cod steaks here, we've got fish fingers, and we've got some herring fillets here as well. Now, I know not everybody likes fish, okay? So don't let that put you off. These will all be eaten at some stage. And also, you may note as well on our table cover, this was not to be part of it, but we just actually noticed there are actually fish symbols as well on our table cover today too. Now, I'm going to bring someone in, and I know the boys and girls met this guy last week, and he's back today. I'm going to ask him a lovely, well, a very important question, but a lovely question too, which I hope he will say yes to. Rufus! Remember Rufus, everybody? He's coming back today. Rufus? Yes? Are you there? Maybe. Rufus? We'll call him again. Rufus, come on on in. Everybody wants to see you. Hello, wow. boys and girls! There he is. We're we'll waving, Rufus. Jeffrey. Hi, Rufus. We're we'll waving the boys and girls. Hello, everybody. <laughs> There's Rufus, everybody. Now, this question I'm going to ask him, very important, but I hope I'll get uh, the right answer to it, Rufus, as well, because the answer for me to this question is yes, and I hope you're going to say yes as well. And uh, here's the question. Rufus, do you like fish? Mm. No. You don't? No. There was me banking on Rufus saying, yes, everyone. Are you sure you don't like fish, Rufus? It's for cats. Well, dogs can eat it too, I'm sure. Have you ever tried it? No. No? Well, I don't think you can say no to something you haven't even tried. So how do you know what it's like? Smelly. Sm <laughs> well, I'm going to open up, boys and girls, and everybody else that's listening in, a little box here of fish fingers. And Rufus, I've got you a fish finger. Now, I think you should try this before you really are sure it's a big no. Okay, let me pop that into your mouth there. I think you could probably take three or four the size of your mouth. Go ahead, Rufus, have a go at that. Get a good bite. What do you think? Yeah. No, you don't it's like it. It's cold. It's cold. And what else? Hard. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, everybody. I should have cooked it first. Who yeah. eats a cold yeah. fish finger? Yeah. Sorry, Rufus, I should have cooked that first. Well, you want me to keep it for you for afterwards? No, thanks. <laughs> okay, well, I'll leave it on top here for now because I think it's kind of spoiled that one after coming out of the box. Okay, well, everybody listening, and Rufus, I'm going to tell you a little story today, okay? And it's about fish. In the Bible, fish are mentioned many times, particularly in the New Testament. And our today's story is from the New Testament. It's from Mark's Gospel, in fact. And Rufus, it's about fish. Do you remember Jesus, when he first started his ministry on earth, he called some men together, yeah, to become his disciples. Do you remember, uh, sorry, my words are gone, Ruth. Do you remember how many men he chose? A dozen. Well done, Rufus, a good memory. A dozen, which of course is 12. 12 disciples. And this story is about him calling the first four of them, the first four of us. And we're going to call them by name as well, because the Bible tells us uh, what their names were. OK, now it says in the passage, it says that Jesus has said, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. These are the words Jesus has spoken in Mark's gospel. And now he's walking along the Sea of Galilee. It's a big area of water, Rufus, out in Israel. OK. And they're all working hard, these fishermen. And do you know the name of the first two he calls? He calls them and they come to him. Do you know what the names of them were? James. <laughs> well, he's slightly later, Rufus. You're not far away. The first two were Peter, yeah, and Andrew, who oh. were brothers. Yeah. Simon Peter, as he's fully called, and Andrew, who were brothers, working hard on the boat. And Jesus simply goes and says, follow me. Can you imagine that? And they get up, they leave everything, drop the lot, nets, rods, whatever. All goes. 
the boat, they get out and they follow Jesus, Rufus, straight away, not a bother at all. Simon, Peter and Andrew. We, we think that Andrew was a follower of John the Baptist, actually, first. We have sort of have an idea that that was the case as well. And we're told that too. But the two of them follow Jesus. They know there's something special about him. And up they lift everything, drop all their nets, all the rods, whatever else they use in the boat. And they go and they follow Jesus. And next thing, further down the lake, he sees two more. And these two guys are brothers as well. And one of them, you said, Rufus, was James and his brother John, James and John. And they are with their father Zebedee on the boat. He's also a fisherman. Was he in the magic roundabout? No, no, a different Zebedee there. A different Zebedee on the gallery with us, yeah. <laughs> but a good memory there. James and John, okay. They also drop nets, rods, whatever, and they follow Jesus. And Jesus simply says, follow me. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? They maybe knew a little about this particular man, or maybe they never heard of him or seen him before. So something very important about that, immediate obedience to Jesus. And the four men go off and follow him. Isn't that amazing, Rufus? Yes. But you know what, he, what he, Jesus actually says to them? What? He tells them, I will make you fishers of men. I will make you fishers of men, which is what we're looking at today, Rufus. So the fishing that James and John and Simon, Peter and Andrew were used to, okay, was actually bringing normal fish in to be eaten, okay, and sold, of course, first. This time they're going to become fishers of men. In other words, if they follow Jesus, they're going to bring more people into the kingdom of God by serving Jesus, by following him and by telling others of him. That's what making fishers of men is about. And us as Christians, Rufus, all of us who follow Jesus, we're meant to do that. We are meant to share Jesus' love and his message through the gospel to others by word and by deed. We can do both. And we're to draw others to the Lord. That's what we become when we follow Jesus. We're meant to serve him and become fishers of men. Now you might say, I wouldn't be very good at that. I'm actually afraid to go and tell others about Jesus. Or I don't know what to say. I don't know enough about the Bible to tell people. Do not worry, Jesus says. Okay, Rufus, because we're going to find out how this can work. Okay, those of us who are a little afraid to tell others about Jesus. Okay, we're going to look at that and what Jesus does to help us to do that. But first of all, Rufus, I've got a little something for you. Now... Everybody see my fishing rod and line? Do you see it? It's got the little buoy here. That floats on the water, Rufus, to let you know where the line is sitting in the water. And then the little hook underneath. Oh. Uh, it seems a bit cruel, doesn't it, putting that into the water to pick up a poor fish in his mouth. This jaggy thing waiting for him. You won't get a very big fish with that, Jeffrey. Well, you just wait to see, Rufus, what I can do with this. Now, I'm going to put it down into the water. Okay. There we go. Down it goes into the water. Oh, Rufus, what on earth is happening here? Oh, I feel a tug. Oh, something's pulling it down, Rufus. Oh, it, oh it, the whole line has gone off. It's that strong. Oh, dear me. Wait a minute. Oh, yes. Something coming up, Rufus. I caught it. Got it in my bare hands. Oh, it's fighting. Whoa. It's, whoa. Rufus, got to pull me in. Get me. Get oh, me. oh, oh, Rufus, I've got it. Look oh. at that. Oh. Look at that. It's a bony fish. It's a bony fish. I'll put it on the end of the hook here so everybody can see it very well. Look at that. Rufus, look what I caught. Oh, yummy. It's not a fish, but a big bone. And that bone fought hard, didn't he, there in the water? That must have been look. a special river. It pulled the line clean out of my rod completely. It's not desperate. Now, Rufus, I think you've been a good boy and you've listened very well today. I'm going to let you have this. Okay, look at that. Go for it, Rufus. Ow! Oh, oh, what happened? Ow! Oh. Ow! <laughs> it must have been the hook, boys and girls. Oh, Rufus, did I cut your mouth? I'm very yeah! sorry. I should have taken the bone off first before I gave it to you. Try it this time. Give it a good sniff there. There you go. What do you think? <laughs> it's not better. Don't forget to take the paper off, Rufus, as well. Yep. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll save that for later. 
you save that for later. Sorry about that, Rivers. I hope you don't have to go and see the doctor now. After It'll that, be Rivers. okay. It'll be okay. Now, the other thing which I should have used, boys and girls, actually to bring up the big uh, bone out of the water, was my net. Look at that. Isn't that some net? Do you think that would have held the bone? No. What do you think, Rufus? And could I catch you in it? <laughs> Just maybe his nose. That's about the height of it. Sorry, Rufus, I let you breathe there again. My net is not very big. Now, boys and girls and everyone listening, we might feel a bit like this when we go out to serve Jesus, okay? We've got this wonderful, well, bone in your case, Rufus, but we talk about people that are out there to come um, into the kingdom of God through our witness, okay? We're not saying they're fish, we're not saying they're bones, but they're people that are loved by Jesus, okay? And when you think about it, when you're going out to share Jesus with others through word and through deed, it's very difficult. And you might find yourself in a situation where it's very hard to speak of Jesus. And you might find you're like the little net and somehow you're never, never going to bring that person in to the kingdom of God. It's not, it's not a, a point of trapping them. That's not what we're talking about. We're sharing Jesus with others. And like our net being thrown out into the world, our net of sharing the word and sharing Christ's love by deeds as well to bring others in uh, to the kingdom of God. And we might feel that we're not up to it and like a little net that won't hold any fish. But this is the beauty of it, Rufus, where it comes in. If we find it very hard to share, Jesus is with us. He gives us the strength to become fishers of men. That our net, as low it might be small, if we go out and simply share his love with others, that's what he wants us to do. Jesus is the one who brings them in to the kingdom of God, not us. We are sent out to do the work, but Jesus actually does the netting, the bringing in of everyone, the fishers of men, bringing them all into the kingdom of God. Okay, Rufus, our obedience, like the four disciples that were first called by Jesus in our passage today, they left everything, immediately got up and went and followed Jesus. What he wants to do is to not ask anything in the sense of giving up. We have to keep following the Lord and be obedient, okay? And he will give us the strength to go and to share his love with others through word and through deed and to bring others into the kingdom of God. And it's his big net that does that and brings them in. So don't feel you're too small or too little or in the sense you're not equipped enough to do that. Jesus gives us the strength to do it. We have to be obedient and to follow him. That's all he asks. And he will bring everyone in to the kingdom of God who's willing to do that. Okay, Rufus. Yes. <laughs> now you go and enjoy your bone, Rufus. We're going to have a wee prayer uh, and then we're going to say goodbye. I know yeah. a wee tune. Oh, yes, Rufus. I, go ahead. I, you told me earlier you've got a wee song to sing. Listen to this, boys and girls. I will make you fishers of men, fishers of men, fishers of men. I will make you fishers of men if you follow me. If you follow me. If you follow me. I will make you fishers of men if you follow me. Well done, Rufus. Well done. Now, boys and girls, you can take your earphones off again now. It's it's safe enough to listen in. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Rufus. Thank you, Rufus. But that is a wee song that goes with what we're talking about. We become fishers of men when we're obedient to the Lord to go out and serve him. And remember, never see yourself like a small net. You're a part of a big, big net of drawing others into the kingdom of God through Christ's love. Okay, we're going to pray now, Rufus, and then we're going to say goodbye to the boys and girls. Okay. okay. Let's pray together. Okay. Dear Lord, we thank you for the story today of Jesus and the Sea of Galilee. And he's seen the fishermen. He's seen Simon Peter, and he's seen Andrew, James, and John. And he called them. He simply said, follow me. And they left everything to follow him. And Lord, may we do that when you call us as well, as we come to know you as our Saviour. Help us to follow you always and to be obedient 
And not to question in the sense, Lord, that uh, what you're doing is somehow wrong. Help us to trust in you completely because you are our strength and our guide as well. And we'll become fishers of men. In other words, to go out into the world with our words and actions to draw others to you. And not to worry, Lord, if we think we're ill-equipped or too small or, or just not able to say what we should say or do. We know that you'll give us the strength to do it if we're just obedient. And because you will draw the people in, you have the biggest net of all to bring all who will come to you into the kingdom of God as well. So help us to be obedient and to serve you always, Lord. And we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen, Rufus. Well, we wave goodbye to the boys and girls. We'll see them next week again. Yes. Yes. Bye-bye, boys and girls, bye. everyone. Thanks for bye. joining us, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.